Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Often as engineers, we need to look up properties and tables, and the VLOOKUP function can help us to do this automatically. Let's take a look. What we're looking at here is a table with the properties of air at one atmosphere as a function of temperature. If you would like to follow along, I've posted this Excel file on my personal website. You can find the link to the Excel file and a reference for the data in the video description. In this example, we are going to use the VLOOKUP function to automatically find the density and specific heat of air at a specified temperature. First, let's take a look at the composition of the function. Here you can see the syntax of the VLOOKUP function. The first three arguments are required while the fourth is optional. The first argument is the value we want to look up, in this case, the temperature. The second argument is the range where we want to look up this value, in this case, the property table. The third argument is the column number in the table containing the property we are interested in, in this case, either density or specific heat. Finally, the fourth and final argument is if we are looking for an exact match or an approximate match. If we want an exact match, then we would enter false here. If an approximate match is fine, then we would enter true. All right, let's give it a try. First, we're going to look for an exact match for the density and specific heat. Let's say we're interested in a temperature of 20 degrees. Next, we're going to use the VLOOKUP function to automatically fill in the density of air for a temperature of 20 degrees. So we'll call the VLOOKUP function, and then we're going to enter the four different arguments. The first is the lookup value, which in this case is the temperature. Our second argument is our table array, so we're going to select our entire table here. The third argument is the column index number. This is the column that the property we are interested in is located in. In this case, we're interested in density, which is in the second column, column B. Finally, we have the range lookup. In this case, we're interested in an exact match, so we're going to type false here and we'll press enter and the VLOOKUP function has found the density of air corresponding to a temperature of 20 degrees. And we can glance down in our table and we see that this does in fact match our table. So let's do the same thing for the specific heat. Now the only difference here is that the specific heat is located in the third column in our table. So we're looking up our temperature, we'll select our table, the specific heat is located in the third column, column C, and we're going to enter false here to find an exact match, and we see that we have found the specific heat and it does match the value listed in our table. Next, we're going to look for an approximate match instead of an exact match. So let's change the temperature to a value not in the table, say 22 degrees. So if we scroll down here, we see that we have a temperature of 20 and 25, but not 22. So now, in our previous VLOOKUP functions, we're getting an NA, or not available, and that's because a temperature of 22 degrees does not exist in the table. So let's change this instead to a value of true, and that's going to give us an approximate match. And we'll do this for both the density and the specific heat. I'm going to change this fourth argument in the VLOOKUP function to a value of true. 
And now we see that we're not getting that in a, a not available error here. We are actually getting real values from the table. The question is, what temperature do these values correspond to? So if we scroll down, we'll see that the, temp the density and specific heat that we're getting correspond to a temperature of 20 degrees and not 25. Now, this is not because 22 is closer to 20 than 25. It's because Excel is grouping these temperatures and properties into different bins. So what we're looking at is our temperature of 22 lies somewhere between 20 and 25, and Excel is always going to pick the lower value. So you'll see if we went and changed the temperature to 24 degrees, that our density and specific heat didn't change. So this is something that you should keep in mind if you are looking for approximate matches. And that's it. I hope this provided you with a good introduction to the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Thanks for watching. You can find me at David Calamus on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. If you liked this video and would like to see more, subscribe below.